going and he quit his give up. I think we'll settle in here. Just over the top here is where Dad has seen them, and that's a good place for them to get out and feed, especially during the winter time. So I think we'll settle in and, and just wait, see if they draw out of here. right behind them. They're just coming out, they're feeding and just moving quite quickly. So I think, I think we'll drop back and get around, get a bit closer and see what we can do. This is good, this is good.
making a little bit of noise, so it's a good amount that these deer have been left on edge a little bit. I'm almost thinking we cut back and there's a little low piece in front of us that's going around, and if we go into there, get down low, get low, and get pretty well as close as we can while using that contour of land, we'll Stack's definitely on the bird looking over these ways. But they've now moved right to the other edge. All we can do is just wait and see what they do. It. We've only got limited time before it starts getting too dark for the camera, so we're actually going to belly crawl along to this next set of trees. They're just sort of, a couple of them bedded and a couple of them are, um, are feeding. It's a risk worth making, so let's try and make it happen. All they need to do is start feeding this way. Fingers crossed.
piece of the earth. A wall boy. There's no above on the model. I'm guessing I ain't 50 yards. Perfect line, perfect line, but he must have been, he must have been 40 or something. Because my 50 yard was perfectly on him. <coughs> no time to rearrange him, mate, so just estimation. Yep. Yeah. It's about all we could do in that situation, eh? Yeah. Dude, that wrecks me, eh? Are you joking, dude? What is that? It's <laughs> it's not bad blood, eh? It's full blood, man. What? Okay. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Unreal, unreal. How far? Probably 130 yards of belly crawling across here. So what I thought, what I saw was my arrow sail across the top of this, this Mustang's back. And uh, we walk up in the arrow, and dude, that's, that's what you want to see when you look at an arrow, when you show a stag. So we're just going to leave the stag for a little bit and, um, and then start start trailing them unreal unreal that changes everything unreal we've just got eyes on the stag again stags again all the stags except mine that's a good sign 
Okay, they're just gonna go now, so. They're actually looking back. I wonder if he's laying down, man. I wonder if he's. They're actually looking down to the side right here. Where we can't see at the moment. Oh, dude. There was a big crash just then, man. Did you hear that crash? Yeah, man. Oh shit, this day does definitely. He's 100% not in there. That crash sounded pretty gnarly. <laughs> okay. I wonder if we just give him 15 minutes or so. Oh, dude. How hunts can change, man, eh? What a crazy emotional roller coaster hunting is, eh? You never, you never think it. <laughs> We, um, we did a quick search just then and it's getting dark so we're going to leave it tonight and uh, come back in the morning. We don't want to push him, especially if we don't know exactly where that shot went. So, so yeah, tomorrow morning is going to be the teller. Oh man, it's going to be a sleepless night. I know. <laughs> back in here this morning did a lot of watching of the video last night soul searching soul searching a lot of thinking not much sleeping um, he jumped the string quite a bit um, but we do we are pretty confident in the shot um, he did move forward he dropped and he moved forward just slightly so what we're thinking is a, is a little bit shot um, yeah more than likely more than likely yeah well, seeing the group of stags that moved out of here and him not being in that group um, just reassures us a little bit more and to hear that crash. So, pretty confident this morning, so let's see how we go. So, a big stag was sitting right here at 40, 45 yards and Wild Boy was sitting directly behind him. Yep. And he gets up and he moves around and Wild Boy sort of follows suit. He wasn't really sure of what was going on. Yep. Moved around and, um, yeah. Where was, was the shot? To, Where was the stag when you shot at him? I was able to draw back about here, and he was. If you look, oh yeah, right, see yeah, that pistol right there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Our eyes had tricked us. Our our ears had heard that perfect. Good yeah, it sounded good. cardboard right? box shot, and um, yeah. But what I saw was the the Fletcher's sail over its back. Yeah. But um, yeah, looking at that footage, we were completely wrong. I'll oh, we'll so. go and have a look, eh? Hey? Yeah. Let's see if we can pick up some blood or something. Yeah. Here we go, Joe. Yeah. 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 Move right along, yeah. Yep. Yeah. This could be him. When you're following a mob of deer, that one of them's been hit in that mob, the one that's been hit will be putting the, the deepest impressions in the ground, and often they'll peel off from the main mob, which we're hoping that this is what the case is with this stag here. Where we heard that crash was from just right up here. And it had to have been right in this bush right here. Yeah. Like, it sounded directly in there. And as we can see, the tracks are just moving straight into it. So, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's likely that, you know, sort of getting out to 200 yards, 250 yards, that he's going to bed somewhere, right? Eh? Mm. Um, but when those, yeah, on the film, you know, the video yeah. from last night, you could see yeah. those other stags jump. Yeah, when, when he that, crashed. When that yeah. crashed, it had to be reasonably yeah. close to where they yeah. were. Yeah, and it's not just like a, a, a deer moving through the tree sort of crash. It was a decent, decent yeah. crash. Uh, they don't, they don't just jump. No, it was an out of control crash. Yeah. Right? So. This is exciting after all these years of getting chasing this one stag. Hey, 
Have a look. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's gonna be a hard, hard one to beat. You gonna mount him, Joey? I think I'm gonna to have to. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I have a lot of respect for this stag, eh? This has been a, a long hunt. Four what? years. Four years we've been chasing that stag. It's a lot of sleepless nights and um, very fortunate to catch up with him. And to have it on film. Yeah. To share it with others is good. That's so awesome, eh?